on and Peter how are you today uh, good guys how are you doing we're doing all right I, I guess I'll start off with you know a simple question I don't know if the answer is simple what happened yesterday um, we just on offense we, we just didn't execute um, you know I think as a team uh, we just didn't play complimentary football comp complimentary football um, like we've been playing the last few weeks and uh, yeah just uh, you know, didn't play good football. We got to be better. Well, what I try to figure out is: th is this a good team that had a bad day, or are you just a bad team? Because four and eight would suggest the, the latter. No, no, we're not a bad team. Uh, it's uh, you know, I think we also. I just think for us, we just got to go out there and you know, it's the same. You know, whenever we lose, guys, it's really the same story. It's it's just we got to execute. Uh, we got to do everything in our power to make sure that, um, you know, we're going down the field. We're having really good drives. We're sustaining, you know, we're getting in third and manageables. Um, you know, we're converting first or third downs, um, you know, putting ourselves in good positions to win football games. Um, it's really as simple as that. And when, when you don't convert third downs and when, you know, you're not, you're not getting good field position, um, we're not, you know, putting our defense in a great spot when we're, putting the ball backed up and we're you know we're giving the Bengals a good good field uh you know a good chance to drive the ball down the field and score touchdowns it's you know it's it's it wasn't good football on Sunday you know we just got to be better were yeah. you, were you, I'm sorry Michael were you surprised at the uh lack of Le'Veon touches that there were yesterday I think for us you know the more um the more first down I mean the more the more times we convert on third down, the more first downs that we get, um, the more chances we're going to be able to get him the ball. Um, you know, I think falling, falling behind there in the, in the second half, we had to do what we had to do to try to come back. But, um, you know, I think it was just, uh, you know, not converting third downs that really, you know, you know, we just, we didn't run the ball as much as we did because of that, I think. And, you know, I think he just he didn't get those touches because we obviously we didn't we didn't have as many plays to be able to get him the ball. Now, not not that you need excuses. The first drive, you guys end up with a with a, a field goal, but there were three blatant drops. Did that kind of set the tone for the game? Um, no, I think you know we've come back from from worse than that. I think it was just a matter of you know in the drives following that drive um we just didn't convert third downs i think that was the story um not putting ourselves in good positions like we have been the last few weeks and i think that was more of the story all right not converting on third downs why was that a struggle uh we just weren't in third manageables we kept putting ourselves in third and longs um you know we weren't efficient on first and second down and i really put that on my shoulders, um, you know, I got to do a better job of getting the ball in my hands and making sure that you know we're in those, um, you know, second and mediums. Make sure we're in those third and shorts. Really, third and three to six is where you want to live. And uh, you know, we were third and you know six, seven or longer um, for most of the day. And again, I, I put that on myself and feel like I can put our team and our offense in a better position on third down. Now, th this is a situation where. Um, the offensive line had been much better, especially during the three-game winning streak, and you were under siege the entire game yesterday. What happened? Um, I don't know. I think it was a combination of a lot of things. Um, I just think for me, I got to get the ball out faster. Um, I felt like I was, I was sitting in one spot um, for the majority of the game. I feel like I wasn't you know, I wasn't as mobile as I, I usually am. I just think that, you know, I could have done a little bit more to avoid rushers um, how I usually do. So, um, I don't know. There were a lot of things that I could have done different to change the game. And, again, I put that on myself. I'll tell you what, Sam. I mean, you're, you're saying what you have to say, and I would love to have a teammate like you. I mean, you're taking all the hit. I, I thought the team... From top to bottom, 1-53 to 53 played a terrible game. I don't know why you were taking all the blame on this. You didn't play a great game, but, I mean, your offensive line didn't give you time. The game plan didn't seem like it was great. The, no. the team didn't seem like they were really, right. you know, up for the game. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong watching it on TV, but you should not take the hit for this. No, I think everyone on, everyone on our team would sit in and play their best on Sunday. Uh, that's a fact. Um, I think, you know, like you said, I feel like, you know, our whole team didn't play well. Um, I think everyone on the team would say the same thing. 
uh, we just got to play better as a whole team. Uh, and if we do that, you know, we'll definitely see better days ahead. Now, we don't know about the future, but, you know, you beat Cincinnati, you got Miami, and I'm sure you're thinking about getting revenge from them, sets up a primetime game against Baltimore. I mean, there was a chance that you guys could have gotten the 500, above 500. Do you feel like an opportunity was blown? Are you guys down because of that missed opportunity and having, of all teams, Cincinnati be the team that got in the way of that? No, I think I think anytime, anytime you lose a game in the NFL, it's the same feeling. You know, it sucks. Um, you know, you put so much work into one game throughout the week, and then, you know, we didn't execute nearly as well as we pictured ourselves executing, and um, we didn't play, like I said, complimentary football as we we usually did those, you know, the last few weeks, and um, it's just not a good feeling, you know, no matter what the circumstances are. Now, one thing that we talked with Coach Gase about last Tuesday was the abil his ability to not let you guys get too high winning three games in a row. Did you guys go into this Cincinnati game possibly with the thought, they're 0-11, we're on a roll, we're gonna, this is going to be easy? No, not at all. Uh, every time, you know, every NFL game is a challenge, um, no matter what the other team's record is. And, um, you know, that's a, that's a really good defense that we played. I can't, I can't speak to, you know, their offense or special teams, but, you know, their defense is good. They got some really good pass rushers and, you know, a good secondary to be able to cover. All right, so you got Miami coming up. I'm sure you're ticked off about what happened uh, in Miami. So uh, how much do you think about the last meeting as you get prepared for them on Sunday? Um, you know, I'm definitely going to watch some of that game, uh, you know, but I'm not going to think about it too much. I think it's just keeping my mind clear, making sure that I go out there and, and do all that I can to, to make sure that, like I said, that we stay in those manageable down and distances i think that's the key this week and because you know we did that the last few weeks and it's been working out um it usually does so um i just got to make sure that i'm doing all the things that i need to do to, to put ourselves in a good position to win a ball game did you get to enjoy thanksgiving i did i did enjoy thanksgiving my family was in town they were at the raiders game so they got to hang out that entire week and um it was good to see them and hang out with them for for a good amount of time before we let you go sam I mean, the, the way the season is right now, 4-8, and eight, in a quiet moment when you're sitting alone in your place, I mean, do you play the what-if game if we had beaten the Dolphins, if we had held on to that 12 nothing lead against the, the Bills, if we had beaten Cincinnati, it was 0-11. Do you ever play that game? Because, I mean, we'd be talking in a completely different tone today. Sure. Um, no. I, I try not to get caught up in that stuff. Um, you know, if you do that, you go crazy, especially in this league, so... Mm -hmm. Um, I definitely don't get caught up in that. Sam, thank you for your time as always, and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you next Monday. I right, appreciate it, guys. All right.